First, a family heartbroken after getting the worst possible news. A Detroit man missing for days found dead in the trunk of a car. His family had been blanketing social media, hoping for the best. As I said, it was unlike him to be out of contact for so long. And then today, the body of 26-year-old Ashton Butler was found in the trunk of a car in southwest Detroit. We've got video from the scene on Ethel Street as police were collecting evidence, trying to figure out what happened. Uh, for the latest on that, let's get to Priya Mann, who's live in southwest Detroit with more. Priya. Well, Devin, the owner of a rental property on Ethel near Gleason, discovered the body at around 1130 this morning. Now, he told police he was coming to check up on the home when he noticed a vehicle parked in his garage, a vehicle he'd never seen before. And when he looked in the trunk, he found the body of a young man. I hurt so bad because I've been preparing. I just been preparing. Melanie Brown was the last person to see Ashton Butler before he disappeared. He's not going to leave me like this. I knew something was wrong. I was on the search immediately, immediately. I knew something wasn't right, but I, it was my under my, I had to find him. The body of the 26 year old man was found in this garage on Ethel Street. Butler was face down in the trunk of a black Ford Fusion, the vehicle he had been driving. It'll be a whole week tomorrow. It'll be a full week tomorrow. Butler was last seen on March 30th. The family filed a missing persons report with DPD on Saturday and were handing out flyers like this, including the neighborhood where his body was found. All of these people, it's a search team. Everybody been looking for him since Thursday. I can thank everybody literally out here. Butler was a father of three children, all under the age of three. He wanted his name to be out there as a good person. The family believes he knew his killer. Y'all wanted to have his body for a reason. Y'all didn't want us to find him and bury him properly. Y'all did this personally. And the family doesn't believe Butler was connected in any way to the home where he was found. Detroit police were actually going to hold a press conference today about the man's disappearance. When news came that a body had been discovered, they're asking anyone with information who may have seen a black Ford Fusion driving around or being parked here on Ethel near Gleason to give them a call. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Well, Priya, are they telling us how he died yet? No, not yet. Police are saying that there's no obvious signs of trauma. They're mm. going to be waiting on the medical examiner. Yeah. All right, Priya.